Okay, so today we have the Acer Veriton uh, N282G. Uh, it's got some broken USB ports on it. Uh, if you've ever had this, just follow this uh, little tutorial. And all I had to do to get all mine working again was bend the tabs on the USB ports because they weren't connecting properly and grounding on the machine. So let's go to it here and I'll show you the process from beginning to end. So basically all I'm doing is pulling them out of the part where they're uh, stuck in there and flattened out and uh, then I'm taking my tweezers there and bending them to get that arch back into them uh, so that way it actually has a little bit of uh, uh, grip to it once it uh, has a USB device in it. If you don't, you might uh, put the USB device in it and it will bend the tab back further and wreck your USB device that you plug in or the USB port itself. So you just have to make sure the very tip of it is nice and flush with the, the machine and you have that bubble in there. If you go on eBay, you can find these tweezers for like a dollar from Japan. Uh, I would recommend getting a couple pairs. They're pretty heavy duty and they're just great to have around in the workbench. So basically looking at it here, it's uh, under, based on the rating there, it's under 200 watts. So it's not bad for this little little unit. It does uh, a great job for just your basic uh, workload, your spreadsheets and stuff like that. So I finally got my microscope, uh, my endoscope or whatever that I got from eBay as well going here. I thought I'd take a few pictures and just show you the inside tabs here. And so you can see exactly how it should look when you're done. Um, basically have them so it is set underneath there and uh, you can see one of them there uh, 
in a moment here you'll see it's not bent as much as it's, it should be and I ended up doing that I ended up uh, uh, rebending it more so it's back to where it should be so let's go on to uh, the testing process now so basically all I'm going to do is I'm just going to randomly show uh, my USB thumb drive and each of the ports here and uh, I'll just continue to do that just to verify though that it does have uh, that nice feel to it where it's going to go in there and it's going to stay in there it's not just going to slide right out on me and then we'll call it good and I'll test it out with the mouse and keyboard later on uh, but uh, which I already did but uh, basically it's all all good to go and uh, all the ports are picking up now there's no uh, dead ports and it was just because of those little tabs so if you ever have this issue try to just take a look at your ports first before you end up uh, taking it into a computer uh, shop there because it could cost you a dollar from eBay to you know fix it or even grab a toothpick and uh, maybe your girlfriend's uh, tweezers that she's got uh, she's probably got an expensive pair so make sure you put them back before she notices and uh, and uh, yeah you'll be good to go uh, you don't really need much be careful uh, the plastic uh, tabs on the USB on the inside they are brittle so you can break them uh, so just be gentle and take your time and uh, you'll have working USB ports again and uh, just check it for any other damage any missing pins on them stuff like that but as you can see they're all working pretty good now and uh, I don't think there's any more I can do to it now. Eventually I'll get some more camera equipment so I can, uh, I, don't, I don't have to use my hand to display things properly here, but uh, other than that, there you go. Uh, this was the quick fix for uh, the, the Acer uh, Veriton N282G um, net top, I guess you can call it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If not, please subscribe. I have more videos coming soon.